Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. Today we're going to do our social media updates for libraries. These are the top three headlines as they relate to social media and we're gonna talk about how they impact your work in library promotion. Before we do that, I want to remind you to give me a like if you like this video. I always look forward to hearing your comments, so be sure to add them down below in the comment section. All of the links to all the stories we're gonna go through are down in the session description. And I would really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, if you would go ahead and do so right now. So let's get into our social media headlines for today. The first one I'm really excited about, Instagram has announced that they are adding auto captions on all of Instagram feed videos. Now you can do auto captions already on stories by clicking on the sticker and then searching for captions. I personally have found that Instagram's auto caption feature is incredibly accurate, even more accurate than the auto caption service that I pay for, that I use with these videos. So I'm super excited. Of course, it's going to increase the accessibility and reach of your videos. So watch for that coming up soon. Facebook is expanding its reels. They were only showing uh, Instagram reels and Facebook reels to a certain percentage of Facebook users, but now they're showing them to everyone and they're putting them towards the top of the feed. And I personally have noticed, like if I scroll through my Facebook feed, I'll see like three posts from friends or companies and then a row of reels. And then maybe three or four more posts from friends or companies and then a row of reels. What does this mean? It means if you are creating those short form videos, especially on Instagram reels that you're going to get more reach because Facebook is going to start showing them to its audience. And you may actually think about switching some of your library marketing time and energy to creating reels because they are engaging, because they're getting a lot of play on Facebook. You want to be a part of that. You want to get more reach for your library. So you might want to think about doing more with Instagram reels because they're showing up on Facebook. Speaking of short form videos, we know that Facebook is doing this because they are competing with TikTok in the short form video arena, but guess what? TikTok has announced that they're going to expand the amount or the length of videos that you can upload to their platform to 10 minutes. So they started with 15 seconds and they expanded to 60 and then they expanded to three minutes and then to five minutes. And I don't know when this is gonna happen. They're going to, it looks like they're gonna roll it out uh, incrementally but you may one day wake up and open your library TikTok account and see that you can upload a 10 minute video. I don't know what this is going to do with reach, but they have the data apparently to suggest that people are interested in longer form videos. So this is something that we need to start thinking about as we are creating those TikTok videos. You may, you don't have to do 10 minutes, but you could do 10 minutes. So something to think about. All right, what did you think about all three of those headlines? I'm dying to know. Let me know down in the comments or go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the Library Marketing Show tab. You can send me feedback about this video. You can suggest a topic for a future episode. You can nominate your library or another library for kudos. And kudos in today's episode goes to the Mercer County Library System. They have an interactive thing for a better word. I think they just call it an interactive on their website that walks you through viruses and vaccines and it's really cool you can like go forward and it like teaches you all about how viruses and vaccines work and i think it's an incredible tool i have no idea where they got it from but it is an incredible tool to fight misinformation about viruses and vaccines and i love it i actually love their entire website um, if you go to their website you can get a lot of great ideas on things to promote and how to set up your website and do promotions so a big kudos today to the Mercer County Library System for this interactive and for the awesome work they're doing on their website. I really appreciate that you all spend time with me every week. Uh, please like this video if you liked it. Uh, comment, of course, and share it with people working at your library and in library marketing. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.